Five. Five, four, three, two, one, and see rolls. This is a WFMY so News a 2 sample. special report. A rolls. We're on. Stay by the seven seconds. I don't think there's ever been in college basketball. Coach, teacher, legend. Dean, you know, is one of the greatest coaches of any sport of all time. A man devoted to the game, out on camera his three. players, and his family. Ten I mean, seconds, stand by. There for all his players. The world of college basketball Talk. loses an all-time great. C. The state of North Carolina loses a Here favorite comes. son. Q. And C rolls. Shots up. Well, take off Dean Smith's accomplishment. Turn her to so three. Tell her camera three. The court. He broke the camera color three. barrier at Carolina. And this is a live look at the Dean Dome in Chapel what Hill, where we're preparing here. for a memorial, really a celebration of Coach Dean Smith's life that is scheduled to Go begin to the next at story. 2 o'clock, and we're here with a special report before that memorial begins. Well, right now, people are lined are up Whoever's in running Chapel prompter, Hill, skip where the ahead. doors to the Dean are we Smith on the Center shot now? are just opening, and the memorial is starting at 2 o'clock, and we have our Liz Crawford Keep going, prompter. She tweeted All the right. picture earlier today. Stay there, prompter. Stay there, prompter. Wrapping around the building. And he deserves it, All indeed. Right. Liz, step well, in a I shot. I say Chapel, Chapel Hill is where the coach had the biggest impact Turn them to five, because of his four. wins on the court. But today you'll see Dean Smith was much more than a coach. He was an extraordinary man who just happened to coach basketball. He touched the lives of hundreds of students in Chapel Hill. But the trickle down, that is where he had the largest impact. We are talking about politics, race relations, religion, and you might not have been even by. known it. WFMY News 2 Shots sports up. anchor Liz Crawford is live now in Chapel, Chapel Hill. And Liz, Coach Smith definitely made an impact on that community and beyond. Thank you. Yeah, for sure, Julie. You know, there's a saying that when you do what you love, you never work a day in your life. And certainly that applies to Dean Smith. Of course, back, we know that he loves basketball, shot. but he also loves teaching and being a mentor be and just kind of living his life in a way that inspired so many people. Okay. And, you know, he made right. people feel special and that's kind of what his impact has been and we know that just by the long line that just entered the Dean Dome a little bit ago they did open the doors about 15 minutes early but we did we had a long line stretching both ways and there was a big crowd here last night Hang as on, well Proctor. and that's Hang because on. it was the first game that the Tar Heels played here since Dean Smith's passing and what a tribute did they start that game off with. I will tell you what, they opened the game with a really special play. Coach Roy Williams and players on the bench held up four fingers on the sideline for the four corners offense so that Smith invented, full. a play he came up with. Players spread the court, and Marcus Page found Bryce Johnson, who finished off the play. They all agreed. What a fitting tribute. Sots up. I wanted it to be something very sincere from our team. University of North Carolina See, basketball 17 team seconds to coach Dean Smith. I don't think I've ever been that nervous okay. uh, to, you know, execute a play than that because Five. it just meant so much to the, the moment, to the crowd, to, to coach uh, Williams. So I'm glad it, I'm glad it worked. And guys, I got to tell you, kind of watching Stand Roy by. do this and all the players, I even found myself getting choked up. So what a special moment that was yesterday. And there's going to be so many more stories and special moments here right today on in Chapel Hill. And I'll be here throughout the remainder of the ceremony to bring you those special moments. Julian Frank. Boxes thank up. you, Liz. Of course, we'll be checking back in with Liz in just Three. a few minutes. Clear for the moment. Well, Fred, uh, check your focus. It looked a little Smith, soft. So we're going to start really at the beginning. My pride. Dean Smith was Rides born up. in 1931 in Emporia, Kansas. Kansas, the son of public school teachers. He learned what he lived, he lived what he Stand learned, a, and so that was full. how to teach. A rolls. The thing that, that Dean did the best was he made men. 12 for seconds. The boys We're gonna, when we come back now. to you, it'll be live so with a left OTS, right a so I'll tell five. you when to pan. Don't, don't, You'll don't pan mind, go to back, the go left. Back, My back. left, your well, he taught right. Life, he taught competition. Or Fred, he did your not left. teach winning, he taught how. To be a winner. That side, might be. yeah. Be real soundful. I don't remember the wins um, very much, but I remember a lot of the stories and a lot okay, of the so lessons I learned from him. And a lot of those were outside of, yep. uh, of the practice floor of the game situation. Mike, Q. She's a up. natural born teacher. So if he taught history or math in Emporia, Kansas, he would have been just as beloved. And he did have many options. While he studied at the University What's of up? Kansas, Am he played varsity baseball, freshman football, and played on the I Jayhawks am. national championship basketball team. And he chose to focus on basketball and listen to his basketball lineage. 
You've heard the Zeros. name James Naismith. He's the man who invented basketball. Naismith coached Forrest Fogg Allen at Kansas, and Allen coached Dean Smith. In fact, Smith also served as an assistant coach under Allen. So he was just three removed from the inventor of basketball himself. So my A, soundful, A rolls. He was a standard bear. Um, been an Olympic coach. Uh, he's he's uh, done so many clinics so and prod. written books and, and, and all those kinds of coaching things profession. to grow the game, the, the, to grow the coaching profession. Mike, you. Dean Smith also served as a U.S. Air Force lieutenant. While in the okay, service, he also served left. as the Air Force Academy's head Pan baseball and golf coach. He also played right. and coached basketball so while stationed in Germany. In 1958, Frank McGuire hired him as an assistant coach at Carolina. Smith served as an assistant for three years, becoming before becoming so UNC's head coach. So well, Smith coached in Chapel Hill for 36 years, from 1961 so to 1997. When he retired, he was the winningest coach in college basketball history. He led the Tar Heels There's to two national championships here, right? in 1982 okay. and 1993, 11 Final Fours, 13 ACC tournament so titles, so and an full. NIT championship. And as was mentioned Coming earlier, about he coached seconds. the United States Olympic team to a gold medal at the 1976 Summer Games. But after all those accolades, he was still all about his players. B rolls. What loyalty I've had uh, any by. man. Uh, uh, 22 my seconds. Players over there, they're really special. That's all. Did I take that early? I did take that early. His education, he's oh, trying to get to the players, has been more okay. um, as a person and not so much as a okay, basketball so player, you know, which Julie Reeds. I think has a lot to more the bearing and meaning to, to individuals. Mike, Q. Q. In 2010, Smith's family announced he had a condition that caused Julie him to lose two. his memory. He died Saturday, February 7th, at his home in Chapel Hill, surrounded by his wife and five children. He was 83 years old. So that She's was up. Dean Smith, the man, the teacher, the coach. There's no doubt there will be plenty of talk of basketball today, but we want to focus on Smith, the man. Let's Shots go back up. out to Liz Crawford. And Liz, how are they planning to celebrate Smith, the man? Q. Well, you know what, Julie, it's one of those things where so have her pan the service left. starts at 2 o'clock. Our crew got here at around 9. People were already lined up, so I think that certainly says something. And, of course, there's going to be so many former players, big names that are expected to be here. I want to tell you, we were kind of hanging out here, and J.P. Tokido actually walked by. He's a current Tar Heel right now, and he kind of came over and said, yeah, the whole team's going to be heading in there around 2. So just, you know, the trickle down from Dean Smith to the current players right now, and, of course, Course, that's Roy Williams there just um, you know keeping his spirit alive I'm gonna need her to and, and his memory I, I do want to mention some of those names that we know will be here scheduled to if speak at the service the kangaroo kangaroo kid Billy Cunningham former NBA all-star Brad Doherty former NCAA player of the year Olympian and Tar Heel assistant Phil Ford former national player player of the year and NBA all-star Anton Jameson all-american and Tar Heel broadcaster Eric Montross, Basketball Hall of Famer, Stand former by. Georgetown coach John Thompson. I mean, the list goes on. And, of course, Carolina's okay. head coach Roy Williams, who we will right? be discussing so much through this special. Again, those are just some of the names, some of the people that we will expect to see here throughout what's going to be a two-hour-long service. And they're up. All right, and we'll just check in with uh, clear for the moment. as well. The majority of the people in the Dean Dome today did not play for Dean Smith. Just an example of how he made a sound such full. an impact off the court. Oh, one man from Randolph County is one of Coach Smith's biggest fans after Coach paid him a special visit in the late 1980s. Yeah, Patrick Lambert was a teenager at the time, still lives with brain trauma, and he'll never forget the surprise vi visit from the man himself. Hey, roll sound full. My son Patrick was in Cone Hospital and they couldn't do anything for Hey, was it me or did so Liz look a little out of this to a single shot of Frank? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I guess it's just a sad shot that she looks a little focused. Share your needs with memories, then it'll be back. Yeah, the background looks sharp. She looked fuzzy. Meaning that one day. What a kind, compassionate uh, yeah, person I mean, he was. The county secretary told me I was really surprised it. when he had me to send Patrick the tickets and visit the Ben Brady room. She said he's never done that before. She said he just had a real compassionate heart toward Patrick and his problems. My daughter called. She all right, said, all these years, we got 30 seconds left in this package. Passing. And I said, no. And she said, well, I wanted to call you and tell Camera you five so is you next. could tell him. It was very heartbreaking and stuff. He tried to call back the tears, but I could tell. He got up and went in his room. Well, <laughs> this decorated with a lot of, most of the stuff, North Carolina Tar Heel stuff, and a lot of people I'll probably don't have, have it as much. I believe last time I 
count it. it was a, Ten seconds. Hundred and seventy seconds. Ten seconds. Peter, good coming room. up here. There will okay. never be another coach like him. We were so thankful that Dean Five. Smith cared for Patrick all these years. and kept him in his life Stand all by. these years. Mike, Frank, and Keep ever him. since that hospital visit, Patrick has sent Coach Smith a birthday card Stand every single C. year, and he Julie still makes Reeds. sure to watch or listen to every Carolina game. Many of you have shared on our website pride. how important Coach Smith was to you. Many have shared pictures Pride's like up. this one. This is our WFMY News 2 director, Brad Lowry, at one of Smith's many basketball camps. And we know you have many similar pictures and stories as well. We want Here's you to up. share them with us. Upload them to your four. Four. section of right, our website, thank you, thank you. WFMY News 2 com. Full. Be sure to include your name Cam, do you as want well music as your under this side? We'll Semi be sharing B. them throughout this special. B-roll sound full. He is the consummate teacher. He is a paragon of integrity. Has I told done him for as Carolina. We were coming down the, the stairs a few minutes ago what? that I don't think any yeah. person yeah, yeah. has ever done as much for his university in the history of American has higher education. Has done for Carolina. As Dean Smith has done for Carolina. Mike. Thank you. Oh, that was the former chancellor of the university back when Dean Smith retired in 1997. And many of the people attending today's celebration of life would still characterize Coach Smith with the same words, teacher, integrity, symbol of the university, and that's why we are celebrating his life. We'll have much more about his life, the impact on coaching, right, and the world music. when we come back. Just tell me when you want. Two, one, and out. Five out, stand by, Sot. All right, stand by. A, here we go. A roll, sound full. So, having an opportunity to be associated with live a man of that, that, that caliber. Stand by live picture. Around. That's it, live picture. Live up. picture's up, Q. A man of caliber, one of the many phrases you can use to describe Coach Dean Smith. And this is a live look outside the Dean Smith Center where that celebration of life will be happening at 2 o'clock. Coach Smith has been described as a, a clear, coach, Hank. a mentor, a friend. And he also had an amazing so impact be so on full. strangers. Many people he met looked at him like he was just larger than life. That graphic works a lot better if you want to use that anywhere. Stim that one works a lot better if you want to use it anywhere else. They might be sound full. And even went to Chapel Hill and had an unforgettable run-in with Coach Smith. B-rolls. <laughs> so many memories with Carolina basketball and Coach Smith that I don't even know where to start. But when I walked into the national championship trophy room, I thought, there's no, this. in 2009 and 2005, there's no I was script on Franklin in this. Street covering so. both of those championships for WFMR. Do you have a TRT for this? All right, we're tossing the lose after this one for I was on Franklin Street side. as a spectator, but the TRT. one that really meant the most to me and that really gets me a little bit teary-eyed and choked up is this one, 1982. Yeah, now, Coach Smith's first national championship. The media had been giving him such a hard time for making it to the big game, but not being able to win it. And they said he couldn't do it. He can't All right, get the they're going to be on camera back. three next. And then finally, of course, this was his first Panel national right championship on three. and just broke the curse, as people said. Now, for all of us that were Tar Heel fans at home who adored Coach up. Smith and what he did for Carolina and for basketball in general, it was a moment that we'll never forget. And this poster, to me, says it all. When I was sitting in my sister's house and my entire family watching this game, 17 seconds left and Jordan hit that jumper to win, I'll never forget the emotion no. that we all felt when they showed this one shot of Coach Smith and the point guard Jimmy Black hugging. You could tell home as that well. Dean Smith Thank was you. getting emotional and definitely 30 so was seconds Jimmy left Black. in this home as well. So in the 90s, I'm covering a fantasy basketball camp for Carolina, and I got a chance to spend several days with former players, and one of those was Jimmy Black. And I asked him what that moment meant to him. What does that mean? And he said, the shot you saw of Coach Smith getting emotional in me There's 15 left in children's package, and then they'll be tossing to you. It was about a man who deserved right, to win. 10 seconds. About 10 someone away. someone who was such a good guy and such a good person that uh, Jimmy Black said, I knew that I was a part of something big that meant something to that man, and it meant something to all of us watching at home as well. Mike's. Q. Q. Wow. Well, Smith's time Stand by Liz. is filled with run-ins like those, exchanges with Stand people who boxes. never forget those moments. But the people who spent the most time with him and probably knew him the best were Shots his players. Up. Liz, one thing we've Box heard them up. say over and over and over again that he was so much more than a coach. They say that he changed their lives. Q. Yeah, you know, Dean Smith's influence on his it's players, it's truly the remarkable. There's not words for it. I mean, Think about this. He coached for 36 full. years. So the life lesson after the life lesson does look sharper, that though. he brought on to them, I mean, it's really endless, that trickle down. And, you know, out of those 36 years, listen to this, 97% of his players graduated, and some of them will tell you that that is because of Semi Smith's A, influence. A-rolls, it's up.
We can always believe if, if I know you, then I can become a better coach and I can coach 16 you. seconds so of real world. He took the time to get to know us. 10 away. And his, his 10, philosophy was when you left Chapel Hill, he wanted to pre prepare you in a way so that you were ready to be successful out there in the real world. Thank you. She's up. And I find this really special. Young kids are still feeling Dean Smith's influence. Even the young kids in the triad who might not have known Dean Smith the way some of the older Smith. folks do. Listen to this. Bill Chambers played for DLP. Smith from 1972 to 1976. He's now the head basketball coach at Northern Guilford High School. The lessons he full. learned from Coach Smith are what his players are learning today. As I've lived my life, I've always thought about, well, what would Coach Smith do in this situation? And I've tried to make a decision based on what I thought he would say and the decision he would make and just always Coach wanted Smith to proud. do what I could to, to make Coach Smith proud. Thank you. Thank you. Stand by. And in a few minutes here, we're going to talk more about Smith's former players who are now basketball coaches themselves. And there are a couple of names on that list that you might not expect. Some really four. big names that are coaching Four's today. Up. All right. Looking forward to that. I mean, the family tree and the playing tree and all of that. Clear for now. Why for him? Coach Smith's summer camps were one of the ways he did connect with people who never put on a trial uniform. Well, take a look at this picture. Pride's up. Look familiar? Triad native and NBA, NBA superstar Chris Paul shared it on computer. his Instagram account the day that Coach So we're taking a live pic from them wow. for the and, tease? And he met Coach at a camp in 1995 and made a major impact. And we want to see your okay. pictures. If you have memories of Dean Smith, share them on our website. So All you have to Julian, do is turn it to two then. Tell Frank to, the to sit back. Your take section back. on WFMYNews2.com, and we'll be sharing Tell some two. of them two. later on in the special. Two. Well, it will be go. all about the memories in about 40 minutes as Smith's celebration so of life be begins soundful. at Chapel Hill. But here's another from current Tar Heels, Marcus Page. B rolls. Uh, we try to maintain the trailing the atmosphere. Yeah. 15 seconds, Coach, Coach Smith. Coach Smith was the one that really started that. Frank reads a trailing of, uh, the trailing players and the program being a family. Q. My Q. Well, Smith's Tar Heel family and others remember. So my break. When we come back. Three, two, one. Oh. Missed that. Stand by. Three, two. One, a roll, sound full. But Dean Smith was also a guy that was very politically active. He was a Stand guy by. that took a stand on civil rights. He There's took a stand in there, don't on worry. teaching people. young people to become better people. And Q. Dean Smith stayed on the sidelines for the games, but not in politics. In Stand fact, few people knew full. the role he played in the civil rights movement. Like most North Carolina cities in 1961, Chapel Hill was segregated. But that didn't stop Dean Smith from fighting for a change. He walked into a whites-only restaurant with a minister and a black student and sat down for lunch. B rolls. The civil rights movement and the violence that came along with it was at its peak when Dean Smith moved to Chapel Hill. He didn't okay, waste Frank any time Singles making next. waves. He walked into a whites-only restaurant with a black student and sat down. Don't know how long this is, down. but human they rights were to come should in be the LQ. You, know, you have a TRT? Dean Smith, and, um, and that opened up uh, the uh, access it looks like the LQ uh, human to rights. blacks. To other retail 123. Shops and restaurants. Earl Jones, co founder of the International Civil Rights Center and Museum, was attending North Carolina Central in the 60s. He was aware of okay, Coach Smith's on movement. He was also aware of a new student on the UNC basketball team That's named good. Charlie Scott. Hey, you Smith know what? You know how you're Chapel talking Hill about the opening UNC. doors uh, fund the first in this black next student hit? Athlete you at can UNC. say, and speaking of opening Shady doors, down. when they just open the doors here, blah, 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 I'll have us come back on camera to you for that, okay? Right there. And he cared That's fine. About people. Scott was one of them. He Song continued to mentor Slayback. Scott and others until he could no longer do it. I cannot yeah. see myself being the human being that I am. I can't. I cannot see myself being the family person. That She's talking. That I am All right, C9. Like we're going back out to Liz. So she she will be talking there. Live prod live. The, uh, that I try to live by. Uh, we got what 10 seconds left in this. Human, human, well, and no, five. Millennium human rights. So my friend. Of what he stood for as for civil rights and human rights. That's it. Q. Q. In 2013, Dean Smith joined the ranks of a few elite Americans Somebody in history. Hey. When President Barack hey, Obama awarded him the Presidential Somebody Medal of Freedom, right, the most this prestigious vote, honor you can earn outside the military, Smith was too ill to attend the ceremony. His wife accepted the medal on his behalf. B rolls. We had people volunteering their private seconds. planes Defense to get us game. up there. He, travel was difficult for him, being in a very busy environment and not familiar environment would have been difficult for him. Dean Smith is one of the winningest coaches in Five. college basketball history. 
but his successes go far beyond X's and O's. Mike Q. On yeah. that day, the nation paused in so Coach Smith's Julie. honor. Coaches and former players all over the nation say the dean okay, fundamentally right. changed sure the Frank sport of basketball by taking a stand so against Julie. racism and segregation. She's up. Well, Stand just by. this week, the players Stand who started boxes. it all also earned a special honor. Let's go back out Justice live now up. to WFMY News 2 sports anchor Liz Crawford with more on a special honor for Charlie Scott. Thank you. Yeah, so you just heard Dean Smith recruited Charlie Scott, who was the first a. black scholarship student athlete at the University of North Carolina. And he played for Smith from 1967 to 1970. Camera three and the lessons this. he learned from Smith certainly served him well. Listen to this. We found out this week he's been selected to the National Collegiate Basketball Hall of Fame. Quite the honor. And here are the accolades to go along. Scott played on the 1968 and 1969 ACC championship and final four teams. In 1970, he was ACC athlete of the year. He scored in double figures in 52 straight games. That's the third longest streak by a Tar Heel. And he's still sixth in scoring for UNC. He's played 10 seasons in the ABA and NBA, won an NBA title with Boston in 1976, and an Olympic gold medal in 1968. So, of She's course, up. congratulations to Charlie Scott. And, you know, Dean Smith was the one that opened the doors to the University of North Carolina. And even in death, Dean Smith will continue so to pride. open doors for so many students. The university announced the start of the Dean E. Smith Opening Doors Fund. Rides up. It will support talented undergraduate students who need some financial help okay. to attend Carolina. And then it will also help graduate students in education and then. social work. Those are two fields close to Smith's heart get advanced degrees. So the recipients, they have to exemplify Coach Smith's qualities of leadership, service, excellence, and that is really She's what today up. is all about. And so just camera three. speaking of opening doors, guys, I have to tell you that when they did open the doors here at Stop the Proctor. Smith Center, it was around 1245, the line started cheering. And I turned to my photographer and I said, it doesn't feel sad. It feels happy, almost like they were headed in here to watch a ball game. So I think that's pretty fitting as well. Thank you. Be clear. Thank yeah. you. So well, he was admired for helping others, as Liz just talked about, any way that he could. And the people he helped didn't even have to play basketball or even go to Carolina. Before we go to the break, listen to this from Wake Forest alum Randolph Childress, who played for a rival ACC school. B-roll, soundful. You won't hear a negative comment made about Coach Smith, and, and it's just nothing 14 but seconds of just why again. you get into business, and this is what, if you had to be remembered for a lot of things, the way he was and what he stood for, I, I, I just think, I, I don't there think it'll goes. ever be accomplished again. And out. I was afraid it was going to drop, so I took it, yeah. Stand by. Four, three, two, one. And a roll sound full. Basketball is more than just a sport. Type you know of I mean? things. It's, it's life learning type things. That's it. Thank you. Today we're honoring the man who was known as coach, but was much more than that. While Dean Smith taught the X's and O's, he also taught life, mentorship, so friendship, and family. And the lessons he taught these men didn't just stay in Chapel Hill. Several of his former players are currently coaching at the college or NBA levels. And that list includes UNC's Roy Williams, SMU's Larry Brown, Sacramento Kings head coach George Carl, even LA Lakers general manager Mitch Kupchak. Several more are former coaches like UNC's Bill Guthrich, App State's Jason Capel, Doug Moe, and Billy Cunningham, who both coached the Philadelphia 76ers. But he might be even more famous for his family tree of players. It's stunning to consider the stars Dean Smith influence. We just mentioned Billy Cunningham, Mitch Kupchak. There's also Phil Ford, James Worthy, and Michael Jordan. Current NBA analyst Kenny Smith, Jerry Stackhouse, Rasheed Wallace, Vince Carter, Anton Jameson just scratching the surface. So very many. Well, the men who played for Smith went on to do some great it's things both in college and the NBA. Five went Rides on to up. be National Players of the Year. Thank Nine you. were All-Americans and two, Larry Brown and Roy Williams, went on to win change. national titles there as coaches. In the NBA, 13 of Coach Smith's players went on to win NBA titles. Two, Bob McAdoo and Michael Jordan, earned NBA MVP honors. Doug Moe, Larry Brown, both have been named NBA Coach of the Year. And six of Smith's players are now in the Naismith Hall of Fame alongside their mentor and beloved coach. And eight of his players took so home Olympic three. gold medals as Stand did by Smith Liz. the year that he coached. That is quite 
a long <laughs> list of accomplishments. And, and a list that a lot of coaches probably envy these Shots days. Up. But we're going to go back to Liz. Beyond the title, Coach Liz, the players had another name for Dean Smith. Q. Yeah, this is really special. You know, it's a word that we heard Semi over and over full. again when the players would describe Dean Smith. And it's not coach, not even mentor, not even inspiration. The word they used was father figure. That is what meant the most to them. Hey, Ross. Packages up. And he was like your second father. I tell you, he's a father figure to a lot of players and a lot of people. And I certainly thank uh, guys that have played here. We've had some great ones. Is that the he right thing that should be back there? That prod is what's going to be in the chroma I'm key? I'm forever grateful and the brown to him. Prod. I owe a lot. We all do as former players uh, to him and what he meant to all of our lives. I never really left home before. And, uh, you know, my, oh, wait, my wait. Father, my mother never mind. You're fine. In You're, him fine. To You're take, fine. You're fine. You're fine. I just, uh, I haven't gotten Michael there yet. Jordan never mind. Or, you know, myself to another level. As soon as classes were over, we would come to the offices and we would sit down and talk. We would have lunch together all the time. And we wouldn't even talk about basketball. How 145. Today? What are your favorite shows? Because we got one minute. And what kind of things do you like to do? And we about a minute left in this package. Right. I just look at, I was very blessed and fortunate to have had him in my life. It didn't matter who you were. If you left there, even while you were there, he took care of you, made sure that you were doing everything you were supposed to do, tried to help you become a man. And then once you left, he didn't stop reaching out to you. We as former players always consulted him really in any kind of large decisions that we would have to make and uh, he would never tell us uh, what we should do. He would give us the pros and, and give us the cons and um, rarely did you really want to go against uh, what he said. He's the person that uh, all right, I about 15 his, uh, seconds. Biggest uh, accomplishment. Oh, 15 away. I, want Stand by Liz. I want his respect uh, more than anybody. The thing that, that Dean Ten. did the best was he made men of the Five. boys that came to him. And all those men revere him. Okay. They don't love him, they revere him. There's enough pads, and so we're fine. That's his biggest accomplishment. Hang Three, on, hang on, two, hang on, one. Q. All right, well, here's how you really know that Dean Smith's influence transcends just so beyond be those men full, eight that you've heard of. Of course, we know he had an influence on his male players, but it's not only men. He also had an influence on the female game. B-rolls, what's up? And I wanted to come to North Carolina and be the coach What's here. That super look like that? Because of eight the seconds. tradition do that, that the with men women. had. I wanted to do that with the women. Q. Q. Sylvia Hatchell has coached the women's basketball team for 28 years and Semi created quite a zone. legacy of her own. But she says Dean Full. Smith, he set the standard. And a -roll so, so. He set the bar so high, not for just us, but for every Dean sport Smith here way, at the University of North Carolina. The Carolina way is the Dean Smith way. Thank you. Thank you. Now, he's also credited with changing basketball as we know it. Of course, we talked about this earlier. Smith's four corners offense, it led to the shot clock, crediting the person who passed you the ball. You see the guys all the time. They point at one another. Team huddles at the foul line and so much more. It all started with Dean Smith. So even if you didn't know Dean Smith, the sport of basketball still uses his strategies and his players so are still telling their st his stories. And we're going to hear those Boxes stories. Up. In this memorial service, it starts at 2 o'clock. It's expected to last about two hours. And I expect to hear story after story as we go through the ceremony. Yeah, it's all about love for Dean Smith. And we know you likely have stories. All of right, Coach you're clear Smith for now. As well, so in I fact, we've got a moment here. Our viewer Mike Oakley shared the day Smith died. A photo and best wishes from the legendary coach. And more have been sharing your memories on our Facebook and Twitter pages as well. Viewer Rides Jeff up. Staten shared this Still picture of himself with Coach Smith at a basketball camp back in 1997. So keep those Here's memories up. coming. You can Semi share them on B. our take section, your Frank take section Julie on our Reed. website, also on Facebook as well as Twitter. Oh, one more person shared his memories of Dean Smith, and that was his longtime assistant coach and former UNC head coach, Bill Guthridge. Guthridge and Smith coached together for Semi three prod. years at Carolina, and Guthridge took over when Smith retired. Right. Yeah, the day Smith died, Guthridge released a statement. He said, quote, Dean was a great friend and a great coach. I will miss him dearly. He was devoted to me and I to him, and I will be forever grateful for our friendship. We'll be right back. Sound full? Three, two, one, and out. All right, good. Less than 10. Standby animation and C. 
five. Three, two, one, and C rolls. Whenever they're ready. A lot of people that you talk to will say, Coach Dean Smith had a gift, a gift for teaching and a gift for making people feel special. WFMY News 2's Ben Powell. Talk with the man Stand who got a quite honest and a frank assessment from Dean Smith. Smith told him, you're not a ball player, but help him become part of the team in a different way. A rolls. We always wanted to please Coach Smith. I still feel very responsible <laughs> not to let him down. John Cohen never you know played basketball to take the for Dean Smith, but has more memories than I'll he just can take count. A like the time when he ran errands in the Skip coach's it. Cadillac. I would drive by, you know, in Coach Smith's All Carolina right. blue Cadillac, pull over to the side and give everybody a big hey, and it was a big deal. Cohen played high school ball, okay. but didn't have we're the gonna skills go to the, uh, We're going to go to break right out but of this side. Coach needs wanted six. him on the team anyway. So extend my camera up three, two shot. We'll take side, go to student break. manager in the early 1970s. Coach Smith was wonderful to me. He gave me many opportunities to grow and develop. I just tried to Router four. watch and learn. Right now they're playing. And sort yeah. of mimic uh, the example you know, that was in front of me. Cohen also traveled to Montreal with Coach Smith and the U.S. national team for the 1976 Winter Olympic Games. Coach Smith, there's his autograph. But what Cohen remembers most about Coach Smith are the lessons 15, he learned greatest off leadership the court. asset. He taught all of, all of us that, that when we're in leadership positions, that Here we go, you, five. your personal example is your greatest leadership asset. Thank you. Thank you. Great memories. Yeah. Well, leadership is so definitely something soundful. Dean Smith was known for. But so were the relationships you created. We're going to have more on the special relationship he had with the town of Chapel Hill in a few minutes. But first, former player Eric Montross explained right what made Smith's so ability to soundful. connect so special. Roles. That was in his DNA. He, he wanted to have relationships. We've all heard those. And that Stand relationship didn't need to be months in the making. Here it comes. It could be, be a happenstance uh, run into you. A happenstance you. run into you and remember you. And we've all heard those. That's it. Okay. Three, two, one. Mike Liz, Q. she's up. We are live here in Chapel Hill, where hundreds of people have gathered to celebrate the life and legacy B, of former full. North Carolina basketball coach Dean Smith. And people are actually already inside the Dean Smith Center, of course, the building named in his honor, gathering in there. The service is expected to start at 2 o'clock, but they're looking at a video tribute, a slideshow of pictures right now inside the Smith Center. You know, we've been talking all day about Smith's impact beyond the game of basketball kind of the relationships he made, the way he made people feel. And WFMY News 2's Patrick Wright, he spent some time here in the town of Chapel Hill the past so couple weeks. Soundful. And I don't think anybody knew Dean Smith like the people of Chapel Hill. B-rolls. Packages up. Store is a staple you got a VB and then he's back. We've been here 92 years. Okay, what this is 120. Special? How he handled you know, things as the Alki will come back out to Liz. People come in just to see our photos. It's a big draw for the business. Photos of customers from all backgrounds who stop by the store. We have some players over here. And there's a lot of history hanging up in Sutton's. Well, I got a lot of athletes. I've got political candidates. And here we got. Erkston Bowles. I have a lot of regular customers, students, alumni. I mean, you name it, we have it on our wall. But there's one person Sutton's doesn't have. Yeah, I don't have any candid pictures. Well, of those Dean two Smith. people will be very happy. Uh, he was very humble, didn't like to be photographed. He just, Dean just didn't want to deal with the mass. 30 of people. seconds. He wanted all his players to get all the focus. It was the same way at the jewelry store just down the road from Sutton's. So he would sneak in the back door at the jewelry store and do his business so nobody would ever know he was there. As they take a step back 15. and remember the legendary coach, 15. locals say this is just further proof of the man Dean Ten Smith. seconds, he how he was. handled things, to my Liz. I mean, he wanted everything to be about the team and not about him. We could learn a lot in what he did and how he handled things. Mike. She's up. Thank you. So those who knew Dean Smith so knew how much his faith meant to him. A they rolls. say it shaped who he was, the decisions he made, the way he lived so his life. In fact, they say Smith's full. church gave him the idea to recruit Charles Scott, the first African-American to play at UNC. B-rolls. 
his faith was very, very strong and very right important thing to, do. to him. And I think that's why he was willing to take some of the risk that he was willing to Three take seconds. because he knew it was the right thing to do. Mike, Q. Thank you. Thank and we also learned that even though most people had not seen Smith for many years, he was at his church, Binkley Baptist, the Sunday before he died, one week prior. Now a flower sits in a wheelchair in his honor, and that church is where they held the private so ceremony box. for Smith. And again, it is here at box the Smith up. Center in Chapel Hill that the public memorial so will be four. in about 20 so minutes. Four. Smith's legacy of helping others succeed will live on, and so will his impact. Let's take a You're look clear. at some more of your Semi pictures broad. and show you how some of you are saying that Dean Smith impacted your life. And don't forget, you can upload any images that, or memories right. on our Facebook and Twitter feeds and use the hashtag RIP Dean Smith. Take a look at this one. Kak Strother says she had the opportunity to okay? meet Coach Smith in 2009. And here's another from uh, Ned Green, a letter from Coach Smith wishing her happy birthday. Semi break. She writes, always on my heart, on my wall always in my heart. Three, two, one, and... Hey, Vicky, when you make those, make sure that they match the super color, okay? Uh, with music, no mics. Five, Five, four, three, two, one, and music. Tell me when, Cammy. Say my A. Julie reads. Three, two, two one. one. A rolls, mic. Thank you. Thank you. In their first game after Did Smith's the passing, Good. current Tar Heels wore patches with Dean Smith's so initials four. in his honor. And even fans of opposing teams honored Smith, holding signs and sayings in his memory. But this moment said it all. Uh, this was the scene before this Wednesday's Carolina Duke game. Okay, stand by Liz. It is the most heated rivalry in college basketball, and these two teams came together at center court to honor and remember Coach Smith hmm. before opening tip-off. Yeah, and sports anchor Liz Crawford was there Shots for this up. moment, so you got to tell us what that was like, Liz. Thank you. Yeah, you know, I mean, so here you are, you have these two teams, arch rivals, right? They're ready to play this huge heated game, but there they were in that moment on their knees, group hugging, and almost felt like Stand they were by. just one A team in that moment. So, so special. And, you know, Dean Smith played Duke 82 times. The rivalry was so special to him, like it is to so many of us here in North Carolina. But, you know, again, they put that aside to honor his Stand memory. By. A rolls. Shots up. Dean's passing it really affected all of us. And uh, 12 seconds, right? And thing I, to do. I thought the way we did it was the best. Uh, I thought uh, that was good. 26. And really good and real touching. What's and the outcue I, then? I, I loved the way teams that played. Went. And uh, I thought it, it says was. teams played in here. He's looking down. He's saying. Okay. He may not have liked the result of the game, but. All right. So just stand by five uh, away. Stand I'm by. sure he he liked the way both teams played. That's Cute. It. And then the game that followed, guys, instant classic. Yeah, right. B, B roll sound for Well, it's a great game. I mean, come on. And remember, you're you know, tossing to the break. One team had to win and one team had to lose, and it's one 39 possession. 39 seconds, great won. game. I thought both teams played their hearts out. I don't see how both teams could play any harder okay. than they did. Uh, they played better than we did today. And, uh, you know, we get another chance, and maybe we'll play better that day. But... Uh, they may play better that day as well. But like I said, it's a long, long marathon with the right, ten seconds. uphill stretches all the way. Such a great we game. We certainly know that we played a heck of a team tonight. And they Semi were deserving Liz. of winning. And I thought Stand we by. were too. And that's what made the game so such a great game. Mike, Q. She's up. Now, of course, the final score, I feel like I better no whisper it here, here in Chapel Hill. 92-90, Duke in overtime. But there is a rematch, Tar Heel fans. March Semi 7th, right broad. here at the Dean Dome. We learned yesterday tip-off is scheduled for 9 o'clock p.m. And we're coming back after this. Music. All right, you're clear for the moment. You know, so Cute. one thing many of us didn't realize Somebody is Coach Smith was famous for his personal touches. He wrote many personal notes to present and past players and to people he met who touched him, like the Randolph County man we introduced you to earlier but in take, this special. Yeah, but take a look at this letter. This is the letter Dean Smith wrote to Michael Jordan, then known as Mike Jordan, after he visited <laughs> his house on a recruited visit. 
uh, and here's a closer look. It says, we do think you are a tremendous young man and are impressed not only with your obvious basketball talent, but the way you have been a leader at school and done Stand well academically. What a way with words. Smith Stand goes on boxes. to say, I'm writing your parents separately right. since they were so very hospitable to us. So let's go back out live now to Liz Crawford Shout live out. in Chapel Hill. And Liz, it was those kinds of personal Smile, touches that made Smith stand out to his players. Cute. I know, and it's so remarkable because still today, you know, when you Semi get a handwritten note, it makes you feel good. There's something special about that. And it's almost as if Dean Smith knew that, and that's why he had these recruiting letters, conversation notes while on campus, even after players left campus. And the notes really made Coach Smith stand out. It's something that they still talk about. They were also signs, though, that he was slipping away. Hey, roll, sound full. He always would watch my teams play. He'd always so Liz will toss uh, back. H six is dead. H seven and H eight. He would tell me about my Liz. team. He would know about my H6 players. H six is uh, dead. He would call me after games. One was funny. He told me one time I need to So do you still want to do the chroma key shot in H seven? <laughs> I have a nine year old son, and when he was born, All right. uh, my wife pulled out the uh, letter that Coach Smith sent to him. And All right, so I'm going to box straight to that then. Carolina blue. So make sure they know they're going to be on footies. four instead of three for uh, this stage five. In the letter, he said that, you know, once you put these on or once you have these, you're a part of the Carolina family. And that's – coach was special like that. For him to reach out to All right. uh, my son Phone and call make it start the ZLQ. special 15. like that is – Stand by Liz. 15 away, stand by. I don't know how people do that nowadays. It's just unfortunate that in his – last few years that his memory was the one thing that failed him. Yeah, I knew he would, when he was Five. starting to go downhill when the Stand letters by. stopped and the phone calls stopped. Mike. Thank you. So, of course, Dean Smith, the coach, he remembered the X's and the My O's, box. but Dean Smith, the man, he remembered your face, he remembered your name, and he made you feel special. And really, that's why so many people are here today. They're not here because of how many wins he had. They're here because of the impact he had on people. And boxes up. So much more than winning. And now that same arena is filled with people who want to celebrate Dean All right, Smith. You're clear. It's named in his honor. You can't imagine why. Oh, this super Memorial is still alive. In just minutes, and we're going to take yeah, one more quick break. Yeah, let's go to the next one. And remember the man who impacted far more people than Semi his players. Semi-A, sound full, A rolls. And we're talking about somebody that may be the greatest basketball coach in basketball mind and in the history of our game. And that, that's break. not where he impacted people the most. Human off being. The floor. I think that's what makes him truly special. He was a really special human being. That's it. <clears throat> Five, four, three. Two, one, a roll Shot sound up. full. I certainly wouldn't want to say I'll coach this year and resign after the season. Can you imagine how many rocking chairs you get around these Stand different places? Box. Uh, and all the five away. Like they like you. Uh, <laughs> They're all up. Oh Cue. boy, that was Dean Smith. Not just a coach, but a picks teacher, up now. family man, a friend. He's who all those people inside the Dean Dome are preparing to talk about, to smile about, to remember, and to celebrate. WFMY News 2 sports anchor Liz Crawford joins us live again outside the Dean Dome. And Liz, what surprised you most as you continue to learn so much more about Dean Smith? Camera three. Yeah, you know, guys, it's interesting. I mean, I did not grow up in North Carolina, so I don't really know the history, the legacy of Dean Smith like some of you at home. But in the past two weeks, oh, oh, you know, I've just learned so many stories, so many new things just about who he was, how he impacted people. Do you want me to take I that now? I almost want to say that I feel like oh, I learned something from Dean Smith just in these past couple weeks. There's a quote in particular. He said, I, I always mean what I say, but I don't always say what I'm thinking. And I thought to myself, what, from the, what a peaceful way to are live Are we getting the audio life. from the memorial? Okay. I'm going to remember right, that yeah. one um, for quite some time. But the other thing, guys, just kind of being out here today, that long line, this bus behind me, this shuttle has been nonstop with people coming into the Dean Smith Center. And I got it in pre so we can hear all races, all okay. ages little girls she's got it in preface so if we hear someone start place, talking we know we can Kansas. toss so you're talking this transcends beyond basketball players this is all generations right, she's back up different religions different races it doesn't matter he he's that kind of man and people are starting to so take many the people stage, want to celebrate him yet. as a human being and they're up Frank, you have a oh. personal connection too right? all right you're you clear thank you you guys did awesome yeah my wife and i uh we were just driving up 15501. Do you want me to take know, the lineup up once we get started in this? Or is it we're relevant? We're in Chapel Hill for that particular Sunday, and we walk into this church. We enjoy the service. 
We're getting prepared to leave. Okay. And Dean Smith comes up to me, introduces himself to me. <laughs> My okay. mouth's gaping right. wide, like fives up. You're Dean Smith. And you want to talk to me. It was a phenomenal moment, and I ended up ending the conversation. I was uncomfortable. I didn't really know what to say other than, you know, kind of come on too, too hard and too fast. So did you let it was on phenomenal. that you knew It's getting started. We're going to go to it. I did, I did say um, something. Oh, Vicky exactly needs to move out of my way. Exactly what I said. Uh, can you step over Vicky so she can see? I admired him and his work. So, yeah. It looks like they're getting the started here. Is getting started. Let's take you live now to the podium in Chapel Hill. How does one become a legend? Is it with wins? Dean Smith becomes the winningest college basketball coach of all time.